Hey everyone, it's Kevin. I just finished this Happy Plants piece I made in Blender 3D and I wanted to walk you guys through the creation of it. This was actually the first Blender piece I live streamed on my Twitch channel. Before, I would generally stream Adobe programs or handmade crafts, so when it came to streaming a 3D program, I wasn't sure how my computer would perform. The intent was to create something simple so I could test it out and monitor the performance. So initially, I stuck to very slight animations and the scope of the scene was a lot smaller. But as I ironed out the technical aspects and felt more comfortable with streaming, I decided to build upon this. I also wanted to try out a pixel artifact. I've seen some inspiring pixel art from 3D pieces made in Blender and I thought it'd be fun to test it out. For that, I referenced a tutorial from Default Cube that was really helpful. I'll put a link to his channel tutorial below. How this works is that you create the piece first and the pixel effect is done using compositing nodes. You can size up your piece and scale it down to where it retains that pixel look. Adjust the size of the pixels, decrease the colors to look authentic, etc. The effect was very versatile so I thought it might work with a simple scene like this one. For the concept, I really didn't have one fleshed out, but because I was thinking something simple, I immediately thought of a plant and then went from there. Then I kind of brought in more elements as I went along. So I started off with this middle plant here. This was created with a combination of meshes and grease pencil. I first modeled the plant and then applied a tune shader on it. I wanted to go for a limited and contrasting color palette, so I picked pinks, green-blue hues with yellow as a highlight. To add the outline, I created a shader with a diffuse material and used the solidify modifier to help. Then with the pot completed, I drew the actual plant with grease pencil. I drew the leaves in differing Y planes to give it some dimension and put them on separate layers and animated them. I've repeated the same process for the other two plants. I picked a snake and pothos plant for some design variety and I differentiated the height and positioning of those plants to make the arrangement interesting. By this point, I was starting to get a feel for an actual scene. I created some furniture pieces like this table and stool and thought an apartment environment for them to be situated in would be appropriate. I added a wall with three large windows to give the scene some depth and added some ornate design elements with beveled curves to accentuate them. I also added some grease pencil clouds and drapes for more detail. And this is where I initially ended and completed the piece. When I revisited it, I decided to bring in more plants and design elements in the background and foreground. The piece was starting to feel more like an illustration, so to complement the arrangement of plants already there, I added a taller and fuller plant on the left and a stubbier and wider plant on the right. Again, picking other plants for variety. Also, the plants all have the same face but at different offsets. The city buildings in the back and the string lights were actually created using geometry nodes. If you've seen my procedural city animation, these elements were taken directly from that but recolored to fit the look of this scene. I situated the buildings to fit appropriately from the camera angle, and since these buildings were procedural, that helped with adjusting the height and width to work with the scene. To mimic depth, I created these grease pencil planes, colored them the same color as the background, and adjusted the transparency to make it look like some buildings were further away. The elements in the foreground were all created using grease pencil. I included a variety of banana, monstera, and palm leaves here for some design variety. I also colored them according to the existing palette, but made most of them that pale green to balance it out. The plants closest to the camera also have a blur effect on them that goes by depth of field. This is actually a grease pencil effect that you can toggle on or you can blur them manually. The leaves are also on different planes in the Y and they're animated very slightly so that it's cohesive with the rest of the elements. To repeat their animations, they have time offset modifiers on them. The butterflies here were actually taken from a very early piece I did a few months ago inspired by Studio Ghibli. Basically, the wings are made in grease pencil and parented to a simple mesh. Then the mesh is parented to an empty and the empty rotates to mimic flying around. I also included three light streaks here. These were grease pencil lines that are blurred through the effects panel and have a hard light blending mode on the layers. I then animated their opacity and applied a noise modifier on that so it could fade in and out. For effects and adjustments, I have rim applied to all the grease pencil elements in the scene. However, the colors range from pink to blue to light greens for some variety. They also have a noise modifier to provide some ambient movement. 
To amplify those rim effects, I have a glare compositing node set to simple star, and this is where I also included the pixel compositing effect I previously talked about. In the end, I ended up liking both results, but I think I preferred the piece without it. I might test this effect with another piece in the future. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thanks so much to everyone that joined the live stream at some point. This was a lot of fun to do, and having people there made it even funner. If you guys have any questions or have any comments or tips, feel free to let me know or reach out to me on Instagram. Thanks again, and see you guys next time.